Hey y'all, it's Janice here. I hope everybody's having a uh, really happy National Scrapbooking Day today. Uh, I am. I've been uh, crafting today. Um, and I am here with a project for uh, Make It With Diamond Dies for the month of May. Yeah, I missed the April one. I don't know how I did that. Okay. Uh... I'm going to share with you the dies that I used first. I used the um, mini, let's see, it's called the, the mini must-haves set. And this has, um, it has a little bird with a wing. And it has three different sizes of butterflies in it. And then it has a flower set. And then this is the leaves for the uh, flower that you make. I made roses with out of this set. Okay. <clears throat> and I used this set, and it is called the Fancy Flowers set. I love, this is the first time I've used this set. I love it. This makes some beautiful flowers, y'all. Wait till you see. Okay, and I used the uh, Bear Tree, and I used the uh, Nature's Flourish, and this is the one that I won, in fact, for the month of March. Uh, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, challenge that, that Dee puts on every month, and th I won this one in March. Love that, that, that die. And I used the uh, the grass border, really fun, and one of my favorites, the uh, picket fence. This was a lot of fun to play with too, y'all. Okay, um, the papers that I used, in fact, this pink paper here in the background, I used it. And this is just one of those packs that I had gotten at Tuesday morning one time, you know, that that, you know, you get like 25 to a package, and it's by the paper company, and it's called Paradise Pink Distress, and it's a double-sided paper that has like a light pink on one side, and then this color of pink on the other, and I just love those papers. I use them all the time. In fact, in a lot of my videos, I use them for background papers. <laughs> okay, and then I used, uh, for the I, let's see, I used the uh, Prima Lyric uh, to cut my picket fence, and I used this piece right here that looks like a wood, wood slats, and that's so I cut my picket fence from that. <clears throat> okay, and then I used um, a sheet or two out of the Lifetime, let's see, yes, a couple of sheets. I used this sheet to cut my tree. And then this uh, this green piece right here to cut my grass with. Let's see. So. Okay. I just wanted that really mixed media feel, you know. So that's why I used those types of papers. And I used a... Um, Let's see, a sheet or two out of the something blue. Yeah, two sheets. I used this uh, pink, pink stripe and then this little polka dot one here. And I used a sheet from, uh, from the New Princess collection also. And I, let's see, I'll find the sheet right quick that I used because this is the sheet that I used for my background. I just love it. It has the little hearts, and it kind of, you know, it's blue up here, so it kind of gave the, uh, you know, the effect of the of a sky, and that's what I was going for there. And I used uh, this stamp set by Prima, and it's called Sunshine. And I stamped out the doll, the sunshine, and then this sentiment down here that says, sending some sunshine your way. And then I used a few of these tiny pearls for uh, for some flower centers. Okay. And here's my card. I started out with the uh, corrugated 
card base from Michael's. And I just whitewashed it with some gesso. Just the front and the back. Oh, and let's see. Let me just lay that down. I used a, um, a sheet <clears throat> from this uh, Glitz and Glitter cardstock. And I had gotten this at Tuesday morning a long time ago, y'all. And I used a piece of that blue right there to... Uh, you know, you can just barely see it glimmering around the... Can you see it shining around the edge? Sticking out there, I matted. That's what I used for my mat. And it just turned out so cute sticking out there. And it's really shiny. Okay. Um, well, you know, and after I matted it, um, then I put down that sheet that I was telling you about that look like the sky with the little hearts and stuff there. Um, I stamped out my, uh, you know, my, my doll and my uh, sunshine. I did use the sunshine from that stamp set too. Did I say that? I think I did. Um, you know, and I just paper pieced her, colored her hair, paper pieced her headband. I colored her uh, shoes in with colored pencils. And that's about all I did to her. <clears throat> I stamped her out on that, uh, the buff paper pad. The Julie Nutting paper pad. And then, you know, her clothes from, uh, from the, uh, something blue. Okay. Um, these are the flowers I was telling you that are just so beautiful. They come out so pretty, y'all. Out of this one cut from this one, the Fancy Flowers set, and I got them really, if you can see how dimensional I got them, the way that I did that, <clears throat> you know how we take our um, foam pad or push pad or whatever you want to call it, with our, um, let's see, with, with our, um, I can't think of the name of this tool for nothing right now. You know, and make it, you know, and push down. And and um, uh, that's how I got those flowers dimensional like that. And I hot glued them together with, a you know, a dot of hot glue. And that really helped, helped to uh, separate them a bit, you know. But I just think they're beautiful. And I made two different sizes. In other words, you know, like on this one, I left out the biggest one. Okay, and on this one also, I just left out that biggest one to, uh, you know, get some uh, different size there. And, you know, the fence, um, let's see, I cut the uh, fence with the paper and a lightweight chipboard. And I popped it up a bit, just a bit to give it some dimension. I put just a little bit of a uh, walnut stain ink on the edges, on a couple, you know, just a few edges of the fence to uh, give it, you know, just a little, little more dimension. And uh, these roses, I made those with the um, Mini Must Haves die. And uh, Dee over at Diamond, over on her uh, YouTube channel, Diamond Eyes YouTube channel. She has a tutorial on how to make these roses. And so I followed her tutorial. And they came out just gorgeous. And this is one of the little, the tiny butterfly from the Must Have scent. And I put those tiny pearls in the center of these flowers. And then this is the uh, fancy flourish. Is that, no, not called. Nature's Flourish. That's the Nature's Flourish. That's the one that I want, and it is beautiful. I love that. And um, I don't even have that adhered down. I just have it intertwined in the fence, and then, you know, adhering these roses on top of it, you know, kept it, keeps, keep it from moving, of course. Okay, and then my uh, tree is a dogwood tree, a pink dogwood tree. You know, the dogwoods 
bloom out with the flowers and then they have the then after they lose the um, flowers or the process of losing the flowers the leaves come out and those are you know uh, those bloom in the springtime and this is a real springy type card and this is the uh, bird from the mini must haves and the piece of paper I didn't show that did I the piece of paper that I stamped, I mean that I cut, die cut it from is in the uh, something blue. I got to show y'all what I did. I just have to. Because it looks like that bird has a face on it. Because it does. <laughs> I took this sheet right here and laid, laid my die on the bird right here and, you know, cut it out with the die. And so, and this is what it came out like. Isn't that neat? Looks like it has a face on it, huh? Let me see if I can get it to focus a little better. Yeah, there. Pretty cute, huh? And then the wing, and I have it popped up a bit. The wing and the bird has popped up just a bit. And I just did hear the uh, blossoms. Uh, with hot glue and then I put those little tiny pearls in that too so I think that's it for the front and then on the inside I just cut a piece of that pink paper to size and then um, I this is a spellbinders die that I used on the inside here and uh, stamped sending some sunshine your way with the sunshine and this card is going out to Jackie on YouTube. Her YouTube name is Jay Colby. And this is going to her mother, Gloria. Her mother is sick with cancer. And so I'm going to send her a card with um, uh, some positive positivity, positive sayings. So, all right, y'all. I guess that's all I've got for now. So, um, I'm just telling y'all, these dies are so much fun. I've never had so much fun playing with dies as I do with these diamond dies. They're a blast. And, and this mini must-haves is just what it's called. This is a fun die to play with, y'all. It sure is. So, all right. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.